compatriots, we have reached the point of no return. We have a choice before us. We can choose to maintain this upside down jaga, jaga, nyama, nyama course that has been set by the APCPDP. We can choose incompetence and corruption. We can choose to pretend that these two choices are not the same failed conspirators who have destroyed the last generation and now want to destroy the next generation. But we have all it takes as a country to compete and win amongst the Committee of Nations. And that the only way to do so is to snatch 2019 from the hands of Buntiku. When the doubters tell you that we can't win, you tell them we are already winning. Just by refusing to be deceived, confused, and dissuaded. When they tell you we cannot win, tell them that this is a marathon and that we're starting now. Tell them you will contribute your own time, your own money, your effort, every resource. So that between now and February 2019, we will build a massive political structure that will shock Nigerians. It is time. I say to you, it is time. We cannot boutique again. I am committed to working hard every day throughout my presidency so that Nigerians can earn and grow. Butiku is all the power and largesse of being president. I am running to disrupt that old order. I am running to lead. I am running to lead a new politics in this land. Butiku is invested in perpetuating the old dismal governance outcomes. I am invested in building that new Nigeria of our dream. Now the new field of our fight is politics, and I have still got plenty of fight in me. First action is going to be to reunite this country. The country is, has never seen sharper divisions than what we've seen in the last four, almost four years. And so rallying the country to become a nation of people is going to be number one action. All the ends of this country will know that they have a president, not somebody from another region. I will be a president of Nigeria. Uh, my second action, of course, is going to be to make the clear statement that the individual Nigerian life is more important to me than a barrel of oil. Because the economic tone that we're going to set is the tone that says that it's a human capital, not oil, that is going to be the driver of our progress. And then the many other things that we will unfold in the coming weeks. The number one and fundamental thing is that I will set the tone that the private sector will be the driver of economic growth for us. The private sector development is going to be major. And so private sector means that the focus on small businesses, medium scale businesses, and the larger businesses will be very solid. We will make sure that the economic policies, monetary fiscal policies, the structural policies and the sectoral policies will go toward providing an environment where people who do their businesses can do businesses productively and competitively. The kind of resoluteness that I would have in tackling corruption in the country. And it won't simply be tackling corruption by asking the EFCC to uh, get the enemies. It would simply be a comprehensive program against corruption. We would have measures that prevent the occurrence of corruption. Because we know that environments where you allow opportunity for corruption to happen, plenty of it happens. So for example, by saying to you that we will pursue um, uh, the kinds of policies that would enable the private sector to drive our economic development, we will roll back aspects of economy where government has no business being.